So take this off because this is where this is going to go. On the side where the nut is. This one right here, Mike, that's probably the best option right there. <laughs> yeah, no. The fiber optic sights. Can it do eight or is that too much? I can easily just... Welcome back, my friends. Guess what? It has arrived. The Snake Eater T23508. What is this? Well, this and this equal a whole lot of fun. Oh yeah. If you're thinking about getting one of these, I'll show me putting it together. If you're kind of like, is that difficult? Nah, it's not difficult. It's pretty easy. But uh, I've been planning on getting one of these for a while. Dude, this is like a childhood dream to me, dude. If I had one of these when I was a kid, I would have been coming home with a different animal every night. I would have been out shooting every night. I'm so excited. If you were thinking about getting a crossbow with a magazine, and you go on Go Gun, you know, like George's site or a few others, they can be pretty expensive, like a few hundred bucks, uh, like over $400. You know, you get one of those for, a hundred, depending on where you're at, around a hundred bucks for that crossbow. And then depending on who you get it from, around a hundred bucks. So, I mean, it's probably gonna be under $300 to have a kick-ass crossbow that's gonna last forever if you treat it right. And yeah, you can you can have a badass crossbow just like you would from one of those sites that costs a little too much if you just put it together yourself. So yeah, we're gonna go over there and then I'm gonna show how to put this thing together. All right, my friends. First thing you're gonna wanna do is uh, take this off. I never keep this on there, but it's just a screwdriver and a bolt. So take this off, cause this is where this is gonna go. If you watch my other videos, my other uh, video about how I strengthen this so I could put heavier stuff on it, um, I'm actually gonna have to uh, take that off and scrape off the epoxy with the razor, which is super easy to do. And then uh, I'll be able to put this on. And yeah, we'll figure it out. So I'm gonna take this stuff off. I know this sounds ridiculous, but I just had to dry fire this thing to break all the epoxy because there is no way I could get it undone. So yeah. I just purposely dry fired this thing so I could get this off. All right, it worked just fine. All right, now let's just lube up the rail. Put a little extra on the string there. You know what they say, you can never use enough lube or you can never use too much lube. All right, all right, I would, they don't say that. Do they say that? I don't know, you tell me in the, in the comments. All right, there we go. Good thing I got a bunch of these different sets because looks like we got a star going on there. Now this should just slip on and fit perfectly. All right. All right, so it actually looks like I'm gonna have to remove this so I can put the screw in, so I'm gonna do that now. There it comes. And just drop the screw right down in there, like so. All right. And then we can just pop this piece back in there, like so. All right, so I'm actually gonna put a washer on the side where the nut is. So that way, from all the vibration of all the shooting, uh, it will keep it secure. All right, looking pretty good. Looks pretty sick. Let's put a sight on it, see how that goes. So we lift this up. Seven. Can it do eight or is that too much? Uh, we'll just go with seven. See how this goes. All right, so we got this option right here. The one that I originally had on there. I don't know how I'm gonna feel about that. When I do a shooting video outside, I guess we'll find out how this works. Let's do a different one. This one right here might be the more logical one. I might just stick to uh, iron sights or the fiber optic sights. Depends on how it shoots, how it goes. Let's try a different one. You could do this big crazy thing. This is more of a joke. <laughs> yeah, no. All right, let's try a pistol one. 
I really like the look of this one. It's small and compact. It kind of goes together with it. That's probably the best option right there. I guess it all depends. We'll just have to find out when we take it outside. Maybe we'll try our laser. There we go with the good old laser. Now I don't need to do that because I have a spot for a flashlight or a laser down here. It's all preference, I guess. Whatever works the best is how I'm gonna look at it. All right, so I'm gonna show you the setup that I got going on here for, for the sling, for the strap. I just put a strong key loop on the hole that's on the buttstock there. And then on the hand grip, I drilled two holes so I could pick a you know different spot if I need to change it. And then I just put on these little clip loops. They're pretty strong. On they actually fit perfectly on there, so I can just snap in place when I want to put it on or take it off. Bam. So I can just be like this. Right? Like that walk around with it in front, or if I'm walking through the woods, going through a trail, and have it behind me, and since it's directly behind me, it's not going to get caught on nothing, so that's pretty sweet, and I can use it just like that. This is, this is my first time actually shooting this thing, I have no idea how it's going to work, just hope that it works good, let's try it. That's a lot of fun, man. That's extremely satisfying. If you're thinking about getting one of these, you better get one. There you go, my brothers. Watch my childhood dreams come true. Isn't that nice? We make dreams happen on this channel. We make dreams happen here, because that's what we do. And by we, I mean me, I, and you. So don't forget to smash that subscribe button and hit that like button and all that other cliche bull don't forget to comment in the comment section down below. I'm, I'm joking, I'm joking. No, but seriously though, let me know what you think. You gonna get one of these? And do you wanna see a video, many videos, see how fast I can shoot this thing, be all SWAT like? I'm getting excited just thinking about it. So yeah, let me know what you think. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you liked the video. And uh, yeah, peace out, y'all.